everybody, Nick here, and today I'd like to talk about one of the kind of widely viewed everyday carry essentials, and that's your Fisher Space Pen. Um, it's one of the first things that anybody who stumbles upon, like, EDC forums or Reddit, CDC forum, whatever, starts to see. Because, like, oh, everyone's carrying a space pen. Good idea. I'll always have a pen. And that's true. And that's really what the space pen is best at. It's, it means you will always, always have a pen. But it's got some goods and some bads, and I'd like to talk a little bit about that. The joy of the uh, space pen is not only that it's very lightweight. This is a very light pen. I think it's made of brass and... It's also very small. I mean, here it is fully extended, and then in the pocket, it's much, much smaller still because of this style. Um, so you can throw it in your pack and forget it, or your pocket and forget it. But what's interesting about the space pen and what makes it spacey is this, the cartridge. Most cartridges just have ink inside them, and so they're fed largely by gravity. Uh, the ink kind of rolls against the back of the ball, which rolls onto the paper when you do that. Um, that's your typical ballpoint. This guy has ink and then a little ball in there and then nitrogen compressed. And that means that eh, when you use the pen, the ink is actually trying to get out. So it will always coat that ball. And it will coat it in any condition. It'll write wet. It'll write in the cold. It'll write in the heat. It'll write upside down. It'll write without gravity, hence space pen. Uh, and this pen will always, always, always write. And it's really kind of bulletproof. It, you can fly with it. It won't leak. You won't have any troubles. You can freeze it. You can heat it up. This guy's just lived in my backpack for three years or so. No, closer to four or five, but whatever. Um, and it just keeps going. I pulled it out for this review, and it goes and it goes and it goes. So that's kind of a nice thing. And that's the best part about the space pen is you've always got a pen. The unfortunate part of the space pen is it's just not that great of a writer. Um, you can see here, just doing a sample stroke, it's on a cutting board, so it's a little rougher than usual, but the ink flow is very uneven, and you have to use a fair amount of pressure. If I just very try, lightly try and drag it across the page here, you get very little in the way of lines. Let's compare that to the Montblanc Fine Liner cartridge in the uh, installed right now in a Prometheus Writes Alpha pen, which I absolutely love. If I just drag this across the paper, you get a nice full line, which means that you don't need to use any pressure when writing, um, which is just nice. Um, so that's what you lose when you go to the space pen. Basically, it's a pen that writes everywhere, but it's not a great pen. It's not really that fun to write. Alongside that, the clip on this particular model is a little questionable, pops off, and the finish, as you can see, is wearing off pretty good. Uh, this is three years of carry, and already you can see some of the brasses being revealed here. Not the end of the world, but there it is. So the space pen, whether it's this particular model or just a space pen cartridge in another kind of pen, like Hinderer, I think it's called the Investigator pen, tried one, didn't like it, um... I can, hey, I should review that. But anyways, um, the space pen cartridge is really, really great for writing anywhere. And that's what this does. The space pen fundamentally trades the ability to write really nicely for the ability to write everywhere. You know that no matter what the hell's going on, if you put the space pen to paper and you press down, it will write. The problem is it won't write that well. And so this is not a pen that you carry if you know you're going to be doing a lot of writing. This is a pen that you carry just in case you need to write something down and, you know, you got problems. On an everyday basis, I carry this guy because it's got a pen that I absolutely love. And it just brings me joy to write with this guy. And I, I just love it. And that, oh man. But the space pen, I carried it, I tried doing that, and it's just no fun to write with. And so that's, that's the issue. The space pen is a great pen for always writing, but it's not a great pen for writing always. Hey, that's kind of catchy. Uh, and that's, that's what it comes down to. So for 30 bucks, it's not a bad thing to throw in your car, to throw in your pack, in case you're in a situation where it's rainy and you need to write, or you are blasted off into space um, and you need to write, because that's pretty, that, that happens all the damn time, right? No, I'm not crazy. Uh, uh, but it's not a great pen to carry thinking, well, I write all the time, so now I'll always be able to write. No, different thing. So, uh, Fisher Space Pen, I'm not going to go so far as to say it's a gem, but it's not a bad tool. Uh, for a pen that writes everywhere, that's beautiful. If you need that, do it. Or if you just need a pen, you can do better elsewhere. This guy, or even just your, your um, what is it, Pilot G5, G2, I think. Either way, beautiful thing. So I hope this has been helpful, and uh, have yourself a wonderful rest of your day.